someone who wrote in and said, my sister is a negative thinker. How can I help her? Uh, it's a very common one where we have compassion, you know, we've all suffered. We want to help others, especially those close to us that we uh, care about. And, but the thing is that there's a saying, you know, the blind can't lead the blind. And so the best way to end somebody else's suffering is actually to end your own suffering about them. Because as long as you're suffering, you're no good to them either. And so then we need to know what is suffering so that we can end our own suffering. And it's really what goes on in the mind, the movie in the mind. It's thoughts about somebody else's suffering. I don't know if you've ever had this experience. I've had it where for days on end even, I could suffer about somebody else's suffering. And then I finally call them and I find out, you know, they've gone on vacation. They're having a grand old time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the one needlessly suffering. It was a great eye opener. So if you're in your head about someone else's problems, you're completely useless to them. So the first thing you need to do is to master yourself. Only then will you have the wisdom, presence, awareness to be of any use to anybody else. So you become blind, deaf, and ignorant when you are absorbed in the movie in the mind and not aware of what actually is going on right now. Once you are able to stay out of your mind about somebody else's mind, <laughs> then the questions will come that will help them. Otherwise, you may just make their suffering worse. I clearly remember one day when someone in the front seat of the car heard what had happened to me, and I was in the back seat, and they turned around with the most awful pained look on their face and said, oh, that must feel so awful. Well, I just about lost it. I was on the edge anyway. That was the last thing I needed to hear. This is not compassion, and this is not empathy. This is their own suffering imagination that doesn't help you. So step out of it. That's the first thing to do. Step out of it. Step out of your own suffering. And then let's see. You will know. Natural wisdom will come of what you should or can do to help. <laughs>